Hi everybody, it's Vivek Patel here from Meaningful Ideas and talking about conscious parenting and today kind of about conscious living, but really the two are the same. Uh, I, was, I was away this weekend and I was dancing and I hit my head and I have a concussion. So forgive me if this video is a little disjointed or whatever, I probably shouldn't even be making it. But I just had a really deep self-learning experience that I wanted to share. Um, as part of having this concussion, uh, just so I'm not well, I've got headaches and light sensitivity and everything. It's partly why I'm talking with my eyes closed. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I want to see the doctor, so I, I called the doctor this morning uh, to, to make an appointment. They didn't answer, I left a message. And I was a little annoyed at having to leave a message. Why wasn't the receptionist there when I needed to make an appointment? Um, actually, no. <laughs> what happened was the first time I just got fed up and I just hung up, I didn't leave a message. Then I called back a second time, hoping that they would answer. Finally, why don't they answer? And, uh, and, and again, I didn't get an answer and I'm really upset. And then the message comes on, please leave a message. So I left a message and I was just annoyed. I was just annoyed and I was having all of these angry thoughts about the office, angry thoughts about the receptionist, about why isn't she answering? Why isn't she returning my call? And, 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 and I'm finding myself judging this woman because she's not answering the phone, but I don't know her. I don't know what her struggles are. I don't know what she has to deal with every day. I don't know what joy she has and what dreams she has. I don't know the love she spreads into the world herself. I don't know any of this and I'm judging her from a, from, because she doesn't answer the phone. And then, and then, and then she calls back promptly <laughs> and is so nice to me. Like she said, how did you hit your head? And I told her I was dancing and I hit a door really hard and I'm really uh, feeling sick. And, and she was so empathetic. And, and then she asked me about the dance and I told her all about contact improv and she was so interested, like genuinely interested and excited for me. And I was just so moved. I felt so loved by this woman. And, and then at the end of the conversation, I, I, said, I said, thank you so much for asking me about the dance and showing such genuine interest. I feel so cared for. I wanted to say I feel so loved, but I felt a little shy. So I said, I feel so cared for. And she said, of course. I was like, oh man. So, and I, at this point though, I had such a nice interaction, I had forgot my earlier thoughts. I was, just, I was just immersed in this beautiful interaction and I have an appointment to go see the doctor tomorrow morning at 8.45. So then I hung up and then like two or three minutes later, all of those thoughts came back into my head and I started to cry. I felt this deep regret and my training, my personal work, helps me to, tr to, to transform regret quickly now into grief. Because I don't want to regret, I want to feel bad about myself. At the same time, I want to feel the grief, the loss of those moments that I, I can't get back. I want to feel um, how much I, I want to love unconditionally and how I wasn't able to do that. And at the same time, I don't want to feel bad about myself for that either, because I know the reason. The reason is because I'm steeped in a culture that is based on power and authority and intimidation and, and using people as commodities rather than seeing the deep beings that each of us are, the complex beings that each of us are. And, and I lost sight of that. I lost sight of that and I know why. And because of that, I, I can have compassion for myself and I can have compassion for others as well because we're all fighting this battle. We're all on this journey from this coercive um, mindset where we use power to a cooperative, collaborative mindset. We want, to, we want to connect with each other and we want to feel that connection. So it's the next day. I went to the doctors this morning and, um, and I saw the receptionist when I got there and when she realized who I was, she was really happy. She was like, oh, hi, how are you? And I said, yeah, not great um, physically, but emotionally I'm doing okay. And I said to her, you know, I was really touched by our conversation and I want to share a video that I made. I said, I make videos, I make parenting videos because I like to help fa families um, find more harmony and connection and, and get along better and, um, and increase the overall joy in people's lives. And she was like, oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> and, uh, and I showed her the video. And of course it starts with me complaining. So she's like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was busy, I was busy. I said, trust me, just watch the video. So then there were people around, so she went into the back room to watch. 
And as she was watching in the back room, I was hearing her going, oh, oh, and she was really happy. I could feel like it was really moving her, but she wasn't right there. Um, and while I was waiting, the other receptionist was there and she started telling me about her kids and how uh, they, they just don't listen. And, uh, and the, young, the young girl, she just won't listen. And, um, and I tell her, she t she, I tell her to do something and she says, no. And she walks away and I say, I'm the mom, I'm the adult, I make the rules and these are the rules and we have a lot of rules in our house. And I said, yeah, I understand rules are for order and so that, you know, things can get done well. I said, the thing is, I teach a very different and alternative style of parenting. And she was like, an alternative style of parenting? And I said, yeah. I said, what I do is in a situation like that, if I ask my daughter to do something and she says no, my response is, thank you for telling me your truth. Because I want to know what's true for you. I want to know what your heart is telling you. Because I trust that. And I always want you to trust your heart. Even if it means saying no. And it's, it's a gift to me. And she thought for a second. And she was like, you actually say that to your daughter? I said, all her life, that's the message I've given her. And she was like, oh, it's reverse psychology, right? And then they do what you want. I said, no, it's really not reverse psychology. Because I actually want her to listen to her heart. I want her to know herself. To, 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 to love herself and to trust herself. Because when you know yourself and you love yourself and you trust yourself, you don't need an external source of those things. And then you don't need to prove yourself either. And you don't need to be resistant. You can just feel what is appropriate and what makes sense with none of the usual struggle that we all face because we grew up with you do it or you're punished. And then you don't get a chance to feel into your own heart about what's real. She was like, yeah, that makes so much sense. Wow. And it's like, it was like, it was this beautiful acceptance that she had of it and, and embracing. She felt, she felt that's what she wanted for her, for her kids. And, and so when, when, uh, when the other receptionist came out, she was so moved by the video. She was like, thank you so much for making this video. And, you know, I just, I just felt really touched to be able to share that with her. <laughs> and then, and then this other woman I was just talking to about her kids, she turns to her and she goes, did you know he teaches a completely different style of parenting? It's so interesting. When his daughter says no to him, he thanks her for it. And she was like saying it like it's this incredible thing and she had never thought of before. She goes, because he, he, wants her to be, he wants her to be her own person. And that's what I want for my kids too. And it was, this, it was just this beautiful moment. And it took like a minute of sharing uh, with her, but it's because the, the the idea resonates deeply. We want we want the best for our kids, and the best we can give our kids is a solid inner foundation, and that's what all this is about. Even when I do my own inner work of noticing how I lacked compassion and love for this woman without even knowing who she was, and was basically in my mind punishing her, and I, and I and I can love myself, and 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 try and heal that so that I can, you know, pass that on to. To, to my daughter. It's a cycle and it's a cycle that we can either we can either spiral spiral down the way society has been or we can make different choices and spiral our way up. And who knows where that spiral will, will take us if we all, if we all uh, join together in that. So thank you very much everybody. I'd love it if you followed me on social media. Um, it's Meaningful Ideas on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and on Instagram, which I'm posting on more regularly these days, regularly. And also my blog is MeaningfulIdeas.com and there's four, almost 400 articles on there about conscious parenting and self-development and a lot of really helpful information. Thank you.